I've been looking for some really good long trade setups, but in this kind of market environment, it's been very, very hard to find any that make uh, make good sense for right now. Hi, I'm Larry Gaines from PowerCycleTrading.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a one potential setup that's coming up, and it's on J&J. &J. So this is based on a volatility squeeze pattern that's a really uh, kind of a consolidation pattern that presents some potential for good breakouts either up or down. So just on my scanner, you can see there are a few that are setting up here just from a squeeze. We've got NOC, Netflix, see all in the squeeze. These are daily squeeze, Walmart, J&J, &J, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, etc. But the one that looks kind of most promising right now is J&J. &J. So let's take a look. So here's the daily time frame, daily chart. So this, these dots represent a vol what we call a volatility squeeze where we're getting price consolidation. See how it's just churning in here? Now eventually this will break either up to the outside of that channel or down to the downside. And the way that we look at price for potential forecast direction is we look at the momentum. So currently you can see here are my momentum indicators which measure mo uh, price momentum. Uh, cycle 1 and 2 are, are positive and we've had a reversal up. And then if you look at the lower time frames, the other thing that makes this really interesting or a good trade is that this uh, row down here that's in red, these are uh, other time frames in a volatility squeeze. So you can see there's 60 minutes in a squeeze, the two hours in a squeeze, the four hour, the daily, the two, hour, two day. So this has a lot of potential for movement. And right now the p potential movement would be to the upside. So for tomorrow, we'll be looking at this closely. And, and the thing that will make this probably trigger the best for an upside move is if it can break above this level here. This is about 160.50. Okay, so that's, you can see these, these tops, these highs, this kind of resistance level. And that's also a 50 simple moving average. So break above that would send this to that 618 retracement, 169, 170, and then up to 172. Now, it's got earnings coming up on the 18th of October. So one trade possibility, uh, option trade, would be to do what we call a counter diagonal to take advantage of the implied volatility moving up on the long dated option as it heads uh, J&J heads into its earnings release. So let me show you what that looks like. So the, the trade uh, setup, option trade setup that I'm looking at, I'll take a better look at tomorrow, would be what we call a, a long call calendar diagonal. And the reason I like it, the potential of this one is that if you look at the, the uh, earnings release will be the 18th of October. So it's in this series here, the 21 October series. So what's going to typically happen as we move into an earnings release, the week of the earnings week, that option strat, our option typically, well, not typically, but always goes up. The implied volatility goes up much greater than the, you know, the, than the other implied volatilities of the other different option series. So this makes it a perfect candidate for a count, uh, call counter diagonal. So basically be looking to, to kind of buy at the money. The I was looking at the 167 and a half. You buy that call. And then we're going to look to probably sell against it. The 7 October uh, 172 and a half right here. So we would have this trade set up right here. So it'd be long the 21 October 167 and a half call short the 7 October. So we have two weeks to play the, to play the trade to the upside so we can adjust and roll. Now, if it was to hit our target uh, on the 7th of October expiration, this thing would be up $332 on your risk of 301 or 300. That's a really good return for a calendar diagonal. It's over 100%. And uh, so this is one that we will check out tomorrow, and I hope this helps, and uh, good luck trading.